The installation of building systems, namely mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems, or MEP, is spread out through the construction of a building. This video will cover the electrical installation of mid-size multifamily buildings. That is the final installation and not temporary power that is utilized during construction. Electrical activities in multifamily buildings differ in part to those in single family because in multifamily buildings, power is usually brought from the electrical grid, which is how electricity is transformed from producers of energy to the final consumer through a transformer and then each unit's individual electrical panel. Sometimes depending on the number of the units and how many buildings are in the complex, Electrical power comes into the site, still at mid-voltage, and it is only transformed to a lower voltage close to the entrance or inside of the building, but before each branches off to feed each unit. In case of multi-story buildings, a separate common panel is usually included and serves common areas. An outdoor lighting electrical panel may also be installed. For multi-family buildings, there is usually more electrical rough and work that needs to be done during site preparation than single-family homes. After site preparation, construction continues to happen without the need of electrical crews to come in until framing is done. And inside the apartments, much of the electrical activities are similar to those of single family homes. Once framing is finished, electrical crews can start installing wires and electrical boxes, as well as the main electrical panel. This is performed before drywall is put in place. Once wiring, boxes, and electrical panels are finalized, an inspection is usually performed to assess if they are done correctly. Because once drywall is installed, this type of visual inspection is not possible. Once assessment is finalized and crews are given the go-ahead to continue, drywall can be installed. It is important to note that during the drywall installation, drywallers must transfer the location of the electrical boxes to the drywall so that they can be installed. Additionally, in mid-rise apartment buildings, additional electrical work needs to be done in corridors and common areas. This includes lighting in corridors and the preparation for electrical closets, which are usually found on each floor, and it is from where the vertical electrical runs are branched off to horizontal runs. Then, electrical workers usually will only come after all paint is complete to finalize the work by installing all electrical fixtures, such as outlets, light switches, and light fixtures. However, even if all is finalized inside of the apartment, up to the main panel, and common areas, there is a need to finalize any electrical power required for the site, which includes lighting for parking lots and landscaping. If building in the city, this could be minimized as sites are smaller. However, buildings may have parking areas that will need to be lit and powered accordingly. Electrical site work is usually one of the last activities to take place because it requires most of the area around the building, which could be previously used for material laydown. Only once all electrical site work is complete, the local electrical company is called to finalize the connection between power to the building and units. This includes installing meter or meters and connecting it to the main line and providing permanent power to the building. Finally, electrical installation is usually inspected at a final inspection to provide a certificate of occupancy in a new building. The coordination between permanent power and final inspection should be reviewed depending on the requirements of each jurisdiction. Extra attention is needed when planning apartment complexes in phases to see how the timing of each phase and whether finalized phases are occupied to understand the implication of these to the scheduling of electrical activities.